Hello fam. Today we will explore the fascinating life and times of the last pharaoh of ancient Egypt, who was known for her beauty, intelligence, and political savvy. Cleopatra VII was the last pharaoh of Egypt and one of the most famous women in history. She was born in 69 BC and came to power in 51 BC, at the age of 18, following the death of her father, Ptolemy XII. She was the last ruler of the Ptolemaic dynasty, which had been founded by Alexander the Great's general, Ptolemy I. Cleopatra was known for her intelligence, beauty, and political savvy, as well as her love affairs with Julius Caesar and Mark Antony. She was fluent in several languages, including Greek, Egyptian, and Latin, and was an accomplished diplomat and strategist. During her reign, Egypt was a Roman client state, and Cleopatra used her relationship with Caesar to maintain Egypt's independence and secure her own power. Julius Caesar and Cleopatra were contemporaries who lived during the same time period in ancient history. In 48 BC, Caesar arrived in Alexandria, Egypt, and met with Cleopatra for the first time. Cleopatra was the queen of Egypt and had been in a power struggle with her brother Ptolemy XIII, who had seized the throne from her. Caesar helped Cleopatra regain her throne, and the two became romantically involved. Some historians believe that Cleopatra may have used her charm and charisma to seduce Caesar and secure his support for her cause. Their relationship was a complicated one, as they were from very different cultures and faced opposition from political enemies in both Rome and Egypt. However, their bond endured, and they had a son together, Caesarian. After Caesar's assassination in 44 BC, Cleopatra aligned herself with Caesar's ally, Mark Antony, and the two became lovers. Together, they fought against Caesar's heir, Octavian, ultimately defeated at the Battle of Actium in 31 BC. Antony and Cleopatra fled to Egypt, where they both committed suicide the following year. Cleopatra's alliance with Mark Antony eventually led to her downfall. In 31 BC, they were defeated by the Roman general Octavian in the Battle of Actium. Antony committed suicide, and Cleopatra followed him shortly thereafter, allegedly by allowing herself to be bitten by an asp. Cleopatra's life has been the subject of numerous books, movies, and other works of art, and her legacy continues to fascinate people to this day. Her story is one of political intrigue, romance, and tragedy, and it offers a window into the fascinating world of ancient Egypt and Rome.